Hello and welcome back to the Beerman blog. Hoppy December 22nd, our 22nd beer of the Hoppy Holidays Aldi Advent beer calendar for 2020. And we have our second to last O'Shea's today. And today we have the O'Shea's traditional Irish stout. So we will have to see how this one goes. Uh, I can barely remember the robust stout, so hopefully we this one is as good. I can't remember exactly. But on the back of the bottle on this one says, This traditional Irish stout offers a rich, dark malt body with espresso coffee and light licorice aromas that lead to a smooth mouthfeel, hoppy bitterness, and a dry finish. And this one is only 4.5% alcohol. I looked, and the Robust Stout was actually like 7% alcohol. So maybe that's why that one was called Robust, just because it was stronger. So we will have to see what the flavors are for the traditional Irish Stout from O'Shea's. So if you're following along on this December 22nd with your Aldi beer calendar, and you have your Irish Stout ready to go, thank you very much for following along, number one. If you've subscribed, thank you for doing that as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and give me a subscribe. Would love to have more subscribers, love to have more viewers, love to make videos for more people to watch because I like making videos. But let's go ahead, pop this Irish stout open and see what we got. Three more beers, including today. So two more after today. All right, it's pretty dark looking, which is what a stout is, obviously. Nice and dark. Very dark brown, almost black, maybe. Very nice looking with a nice little tan, tannish head on the top. Not too bad looking. Let's go ahead and see what we got for an aroma. Hmm, not really getting much from the aroma compared to the Robust Stout, which I really got like a licorice aroma out of. This one... There is that licorice aroma, but it's very slight compared to the Robust. Other than that, I'm not really getting much. There's maybe a little bit of breadiness in there. I don't really smell anything else, really. It's just like breadiness, some licorice in there. Uh, let's see what some people online are saying here. Some people are just saying, yeah, del delicious licorice aroma, which I do agree. Licorice is delicious. The black licorice. I'm sorry, I like black licorice. Uh, someone says there's not much aroma, which I do agree with that as well. I mean, it's very slight. I'm not getting much of anything. There's just that nice, slight licorice and maybe some breadiness maybe maybe some maltiness but other than that who cares how it looks who cares how it smells how does it taste so to everybody following along let's go ahead if you've got yours popped open and poured in a glass great if you're going to just drink it out of the bottle that's great too however you want to enjoy it as long as you enjoy it let's go ahead and toast to this december 22nd and have a drink in three two one. Okay. Yeah, this one... I don't know. I'm not getting the licorice flavor. I mean, I think I sort of... Poo pooed, if you, for lack of a better term, poo pooed the robust stout. But after drinking this one, I would r much rather have the robust stout 
just because it has that spice and that licorice. Or maybe I did like it. I Man, I can't remember. I think I actually did like the Robust Out, maybe. If I didn't, then I'm a hypocrite, because now I'm saying I liked it. <laughs> but this one, I don't... It's This one's sort of disappointing, because I'm expecting, like, stout, you know? I think that Robust Stout, which had the nice spice and licorice, sort of uh, brought my expectations up higher for this Irish Stout, and then now I feel a little disappointed. It's not bad. It's just that it could use that kick. So it's like, Ugh, I want that Robust Stout. I want that spice. I want that licorice flavor. I want those flavors amped up they're like really dulled down in this one so if you don't like those licorice flavors then this one would be okay but i like those licorice and spice flavors so so yeah i'm personally sort of disappointed just because i had the robust stout first and i wish this one was more you know, spicy and licorice-y. But it's not awful. It's just... When I had the Robust Stout first, I'd rather have that. But let's see what people online are saying. Online, people are saying, Bitter up front, mellowing into a, its sweet cocoa. Thin coating of bittersweet. Hmm. It is bitter... But I'm not getting a cocoa. Someone says they are very impressed with this one. Quite dry, very toasty, and roasty. Hmm. Very thick, full, smooth mouthfeel. People are saying they really like this one, though. People are saying it's great taste and mouthfeel for the lower uh, alcohol by volume. So some peop people seem to like this one. The malt makes this beer not as bone dry as a more famous brand of Irish stout. Much better than the red ale. Man, I can't even remember the red ale, to be honest with you. But people are enjoying this one. So good. If you enjoy it, good. I said that all that matters is if you enjoy it. If you like it, awesome. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of the Irish Stout. Personally, for me, I think I would rather go for the Robust Stout over this one. But, again, that's just me and me liking the more of the licorice and spiciness of the Robust compared to this one. But, you know, your mileage may vary. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Also, thank you to everybody who has been following along. Uh, like I said, give me a subscribe if you want to do so. Give me a like, comment, you know, let's start a conversation about this one. So yeah, only two more beers after today. And then it will be Christmas after that. So, thank you to everybody who has been following along. And until tomorrow, stay out of trouble.